Hi, I'm Carissa. Today I'm going to show you a treatment and blow dry with my favorite Davines products. I haven't washed my hair in three days and I'm ready for a treatment. But first I'll show you how to take our new product survey at Halo Salon. Hit edit on your screenshot of the survey. Then go to markup. Then circle what you're struggling with. Do the same thing with the next screenshot. After sending your survey back to Halo, your stylist will send you a customized list of the product they recommend. Now it's time to start the treatment process. First, I'm using Salu, which is a clarifying shampoo, to help remove buildup on my scalp. I'm making sure to scrub my scalp vigorously and remove dry skin and buildup of product. Then I'm rinsing until the water runs clear. I'm removing the excess water before I put my treatment on. There's a cap attached to all Davines masks for multiple uses. This is the Purity Circle Mask with bamboo charcoal and matcha tea extract. It's for purifying the hair and scalp from pollution. I'm making sure to get the mask all the way to my scalp. Don't forget to brush it through with a wet brush or wide tooth comb. Now it's time to wet a towel with really hot water. Wring the excess water out of the towel. Wrap your hair in a towel to push the mask deeper. Leave on for 20 minutes. Now it's time to rinse. Now I'm applying Minu Hair Serum for color brilliance and shine. Next, I brushed the serum through and started rough drying, getting my hair about 70% of the way dry. Then I took a section ear to ear and started round brushing. I have the nozzle on my blow dryer to ensure smoothness and to remove frizz. Blow drying without a nozzle can create frizz as it's blowing in a circular motion versus flat like it is with the nozzle. Move the brush and the blow dryer together at the same time. Roll your brush back up and let the hair cool just for a second before moving on to hold the shape of your brush. Now it's time to take the next section. Start at your roots and work the blow dryer and the brush at the same time towards your ends. I'm taking clean sections and making sure no hair gets tangled up in the brush or the blow dryer as I'm working through my hair. Brush the section before you start blow drying to make sure there's no tangles and there's a smooth transition from root to ends. After blow drying down the section, I hold the section with my other hand and move the brush back up to my roots. It's time to take the next section down. Notice how I'm holding my arm over my head to achieve the most comfortable position while blow drying.
Now that I'm higher up on my head, I can pick up the hair with the brush a lot easier and move through my hair a little quicker. Last section, now it's time to find my part and blow dry from there. I'm blow drying my bangs back and forth with the paddle brush, which creates more of a swoop and lets the hair sit a little further forward on the face instead of away from the face. Now I'm polishing off my ends with the round brush. I'm blow drying to the other side to get even more swoop on my bang. Don't be discouraged, we all mess up here and there. After you're done round brushing, use the cool shot to eliminate frizz and add shine. Now I'm using This Is A Shimmering Mist for added shine. And here's my finished look. Don't forget to fill out the survey and get your customized products. Thank you to those who have supported Halo and all the stylists throughout the quarantine. We really appreciate you and couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much.